cat sitting this week, and luckily for me, I can replicate my set because the people that I'm cat sitting for are also huge soccer fans and have a metric fuck ton of scarves. This one's from Iceland. I haven't even been to Iceland, but I hear it's nice. Shout outs to Iceland. Hey everyone, this is Stuart, and this is, I guess, the fifth edition of my depression vlog? I don't know. I'm, I've kind of lost count. To be completely honest, I have a really, really bad habit, and that habit is not uploading the numerous things that I film. For some reason, I seem to get hung up on the editing and all that crap, and it's just not a good thing. It's really, it's a really, really bad habit, and it keeps me from getting things that I want done, done. I lost count because I've actually filmed more vlogs that I haven't released than I have vlogs that I did release, and that's a problem. So I'm not really sure if this is a thing about depression or whatever. I really don't think it is. Basically, it's just me not doing the thing that I set out to do. It's also the first vlog in the new year. <laughs> and it's also my first vlog in, I think, two months, which is really crappy. But honestly, I feel like things have been looking up for me, more or less. I've been making progress professionally, feeling myself become a better announcer, and starting to do a little bit more voice work. And by do a little bit more voice work, I mean practice. I'm still looking for people to pay me to do voice work. Hire me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please hire me. My mom taught me manners. But yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta suck it up and hold yourself accountable. That's kind of what I'm doing. I haven't released enough. I apologize. Like you just start not doing stuff. You start not releasing stuff. Stuff like that can really, I noticed that it kind of affected my mood a little bit. And if for some reason, that I internalized that failure to do a thing and it really kind of sank me. Remember that whole vlog about being lost at sea? Yeah, that's why. And it's this kind of conundrum where you're thinking about, wow, I really fucked up and I didn't do this thing, and but you're also trying to tell yourself, this isn't who you are, this, is, this does not define you, this does not define who you are, but yet it was you that fucked up and learning to separate the two is my issue. If I was making a weird face there, it's because for some reason my eyelids started twitching. I don't know why. It's three in the morning. And obviously when you do fail, and then you start failing more because you're afraid to do stuff, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, and it's just not a good deal. So what I'm doing is I'm just releasing something. If this is the most unwatchable vlog in the world, I apologize, but I need to get something out there. This is my way of just breaking through the mold, and if I release something after this, it'll probably be better than this, so mazel tov me. I just wanted to make a quick update. I'm okay. I hope that you are too. Um, what are your experiences with fear of failure? I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, well, uh, really, I'd be seeing them because they're in text, but... Hopefully my point got across. Uh, please leave your comments below if you have any experiences with that sort of thing, with uh, anxiety, performance anxiety, that kind of deal. Because that's another issue with me that I hope to talk about in a later episode. All in all, thank you so much for watching, and let's meet back here soon.